What's good? Intros be like. Oh, I didn't notice you there. I'm here, I'm court, and I'm making bacon. <laughs> I have a video for you today and it has meaning. I am gonna be talking with my cousin. We're gonna be drinking and it's gonna be so lit. I hope you love it. Like, I hope you love her outfit because I most definitely did. This is why I did a whole video with her because I'm like, girl, this outfit is cute. So like, yeah. Girl, I'm using a butter knife and that bitch still cut it. Well, it didn't cut good enough. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about turkey bacon. It actually comes out so whiny. Like, what are you eating? <laughs> oh, boom. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it makes you laugh and I hope it makes you cry and I hope it makes you realize that bitch. Clubbing is not for everybody. You know, some people can do it. Some people like to do it. Some people do it when they can. <laughs> but it's not for everybody. So, enjoy the video. You want some more ice? Como estas? It is yours truly, Roscoe Diana uh, um, in first class Uzumaki. We are drinking today, I guess. I don't know what we're going to talk about. Honestly, I was going to make a topic, and I have been thinking about the topic, but I don't know. What you want to talk about today? If two plus two is four, right? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I want to talk about relationships. No. It's Friday. Okay, let's talk about partying in clubs. Let's talk about partying in clubs. Okay? Sure. Okay. So when is the last time you went to a party or a club? I think I read this Facebook post. Yeah, I posted on my Facebook today. <laughs> oh my God. And I should have thought of it before I went to the store. Okay, so I got really fucked up and it was on accident. I hadn't got that fucked up in a long fucking time. Like, in a long time. I got fucked up on accident. That shit was out of control. I um, actually had a Monaco. I don't know if you had one or if you know what that is. But it's like a margarita drink, like a little mixed drink. There's like four different kinds. There's one cognac one with, mixed with a whole bunch of different shit. Mm -hmm. and then there's a margarita one. That one's mixed with a whole bunch of different shit. And then there's um, a vodka one and there's a, 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 another one. I don't think I ever drunk any of that they're before. They're fucking I don't good as fuck. Like, they're just like... Like, you know how you just don't want to get too turned up or whatever? They're like in the be in the mix between a little wine and oh like, yes, in between, I would love mix, that. In between, you know those little single wines. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're in a mix between a wine and a four loco. Oh girl, they're in between. Oh girl, you know if you drink a four loco, you're gonna die. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's so good. Um, so. I had one, and I had the white one, and we were going out. You got a lighter? Um, yeah, I got your lighter. I didn't steal it. I was gonna get it. Definitely stole it. No, I didn't. I knew let's it was there. Let's talk about lighters. <laughs> uh, lighters. No, let's not. Let's not. Oh, they hung up. Fuck them. Good. I love when people do that. Sometimes I hate when people do that because if I'm asleep and the phone wakes me up, wakes me up, then I look and then your bitch ass. Bitch, I have that bitch. You, like, you need to download. Phone. You need to. Okay, you don't have it. Uh, have it in there, but uh, I got this uh, thing called the uh, nighttime bedtime thingy. Even though nobody calls me in the future, oh. I'm gonna get all the calls. So no, like at I ten o'clock, that I, shit's I done. I can't do that because you know shit happens. But yeah. Whatever. 
Yeah, so I had the Monaco mm -hmm. and we went out on a humbug. I don't even think we planned to go out that night. We just went out. We was like, oh, let's go out. We're bored. Let's go. So we all went out. In the midst of us going out, I had the Monaco. I'm like, oh yeah, I do have this drink. And then I had a leftover bottle fifth of Hennessy. And it wasn't a full fifth. It was just, just enough for me. Girl. So I was like, fucking that bottle up. And then I was like, fuck it. Mixed it. After that, after I finished that, I was drinking some on the Westport. We went to Westport. Mm -hmm. I was drinking some. But after that, I don't remember what the fuck happened, bitch. Because I got a question though. Yeah. How do you feel about my wings? Am I flying away? Bitch, no. <laughs> You're flapping, but just <laughs> <laughs> not going anywhere. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matters. I'm literally gonna be in pride like this. When is pride? This shit, this, this is pride it? is always the same time. Yeah, but, but like, the year is over, bitch. Like, I know, but they were supposed to have it in October. Oh yeah, yeah. that's not gonna happen. <sighs> it's probably not gonna happen because it's still COVID. COVID is still fucked up. And I mean, then like, them they did have move on it. You're right. You so right. They did move it. <laughs> them and bitches better have on their masks. You know, bitch, I'm it in might. Pride. You know, they might have it. <laughs> but I mean, to be honest, I really don't think that's gonna happen. And plus, um, pride sucks here anyway. It really does. It's just a whole bunch of people. But like, shit, I'm ready to compared step in that to bitch. other people's shit. It's, it's fucking <laughs> compared to other people's shit. It's shit is whack. whack as fuck. I know. I want to go to the uh, the New York City one where it's all pride. Like it's like it's like the the epitome of pride. Like it's where pride basically has been created from Stonewall. That's and I want to go there. Me. It's too bad. And that's <laughs> fucked up that we had to think like that in the in this time and day. But you had to think like that. In this time. What do you mean, like attorney, like for like? Like remember back? Um, I don't know if. You really remember back like a few years ago i don't know if it was a few years ago a few years ago but orlando like yes it um pulse um what is that called pulse um it was at a club pulse the one that all the way out there and that dude i forgot what area but i know it was in orlando because it like really fucked me up like because it, i could kind of relate to that situation in a way like people was texting their parents and texting their family and stuff and telling them literally as the gunman was walking up to them was devastating even if i wasn't there like it was devastating to me because i've been in that situation and it was the last that's the thing about it that's why i brought up parties and motherfucking clubbing the last party that i went to it was a mass shooting it wasn't a mass shooting but it was a small building and it was me destiny me destiny you uh, can't call it a mass shooting well right. it was people a shooting bitch motherfuckers and, got so, shot motherfuckers wasn't going around just killing people you can't say it was a mass yeah, shooting it was just people were shooting at the club yeah they was they were shooting though and they yeah, shot yeah. they shot the people and that was the last time that i ever went out I yeah. will never go out if it's yeah. not like a high classy I motherfucking say, place where I can't say that wasn't the last me, time I, I'm not going. I stepped in a club because I can't say that because that would be lying. But um, that is the last time I felt comfortable really planning and going oh, out because excuse me because that shit was fucked up. I was in the club. I literally was talking to this dude. I wore tennis shoes that night. I had these nice ass um, fucking little cheap shoes I bought but they was cute as fuck everybody was like oh your shoes is cute all night and this dude was like he was flirting with me but he was still trying to talk shit to me at the same time but he was like flirt talk shit and he was like who's wearing tennis shoes to the club and I'm like fuck you whatever right well, you know yeah, what I'm saying I'm, I'm popping cute. you know <laughs> like you coming up to me he was like the motherfuckers is don't know where you get them from are they from Nikes nope they ain't no okay, Nikes I bought the these fuck? from the club motherfucking Walla Walla Man. Think about recording the stuff that you do. That is a song that I've shown to people. So, like, the signs are... Oh, it's so smart! Yeah, it's this motherfucking story. These motherfuckers ain't even got no name. They just keep... Okay. So, right when this dude walked away from me, shooting started. Mm -hmm. Like, it was so scary. And then I walked away from him, and, the, and I had pretty much... I'm feeling myself, so I was like... Didn't walk too far. It was just like I turned around and took two steps, and it was this girl right there. I'm chilling, and we talking. I don't even know her, but she cool. And she she was like, "Oh, your shoes are cute." Da, da, da. We was talking to her, like, "Oh no," nah. jacking with each other and shit. And next thing you know, we hear shooting. 
literally right behind us. And in my instinct, I just grabbed her. I just grabbed both the people next to me. Mm-hmm. I grabbed both the people next to me and I started looking for my best friend because that's who I came with and I just grabbed the closest people next to me and I was screaming for my best friend and I just pulled everybody to the ground. <laughs> it was like a defense mechanism because it was two big bitches next to me and I know I'm a little bitch and so I was like <laughs> trying to hide behind them and shit. Yo. Like, that shit was crazy. No, crazy girl was but messing me all the way. The crazy is the dude that I was talking to, he was the one that got shot. See, this is how I found out it was him. He called me like maybe a month after Maybe weeks after, whatever. He called me and he was like, um, yeah, da 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 I was just, yeah, I got y'all never at the club. I was like, yeah, that was crazy. Club got shot. He was like, crazy thing is, I was the one that got shot. I was like, what? He was like, yeah. Right after, he remembered our conversation and everything. And he was like, right after he stopped talking to me, he walked off and this dude came up to him and had said something. And then a girl had said, so, I don't know, some, some crazy mixed up stupid shit some dumb ass shit that was like I know it's hard oh, sidebar I know it's hard being a guy especially a black guy not only for the police but for dumb ass girls that you don't want to fuck with and they want to fuck with you and if you either fuck them and ditch them they can say whatever to whoever and then you they got an army of dummies behind them so whatever the fuck she said to them because she was upset with him um uh, caused them to shoot him and that's what it was and talking to him I knew he wasn't what she tried to make him seem like I believe if I'm remembering right that's what how it went like I guess he had fucked the girl and he fucked her and ditched her or whatever and she didn't like that so when she seen him in the club she said some things about him or whatever that made the people that she was with upset and so they shot but I'm just glad that they didn't come up to him while he was talking to me you know what yes. I said? Because who's to say if we was having a good conversation and you know what type of person I am. Like, if I'm having a conversation, somebody just come and interrupt my conversation and I'm bothering with this person. Now, I I don't like a bully. And now I feel like I have to do, I go in defense mode. Exactly. And it's not, it's just, it's, it's just, just who your, I am. It's just yeah. your, it's just your, who your I instincts. Am. Period. Yeah. It's not nothing with him. I don't, I could turn around even if, if that happened and all the shooting did happen, I turn around to fit him and it goes, whatever. And I'll turn around and be like, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, so, um, see you later. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really, I feel offended on my behalf because you had the audacity to come and interrupt our motherfucking conversation to say the stupid shit that you had to say. And it was really fucking rude. You could at least... If the if somebody did it to me, they could at least stop and be like, "Excuse me, hi, how you doing?" Uh, I, excuse me, motherfucker. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, exactly. To me, I'd be like, "Ooh, you deal with that on your own." But if a bitch just come up and be like, "Bitch ass nigga," excuse me, because you don't know what the fuck we could have been talking about. We could have been talking about something serious, like, "Hey, bro, you know, it's anything." I could have been fucking with this nigga. Like, you owe me money checking this nigga about some shit. And you didn't came into my motherfucking... I'm already bad checking this nigga. Yeah, you didn't come in. Skirt. Yeah, nigga. Woo, woo, woo. Excuse me, bitch. This nigga owe me money. Get the fuck out the way. Deal with whatever the fuck you got to deal with after I deal with what the fuck I got to deal with. It, it could go any type of way. So, I don't fuck with the club. Girl. I don't fuck with the club. Anything goes down in the club. Anything happens in the club. And... You can't really, what are you, if you're not going to the club just to have fun, don't go. Exactly. If you're going to look for bullshit, and this is for everybody in motherfucking KCK, KCMO, every single area that we can motherfucking pull up inside this motherfucking video right now. Every single body. If you go to motherfucking uh, clubs just to look for problems, please don't go to the club. And I've been witness to people who actually was ready to go to the club just to look for a motherfucking problem. They was inside fight. my motherfucking I, house, I, and I'm just like, too. girl. And I'm just hey, like, girl, like, like why? Just go to have fun. Like, go to have fun. You getting cute. You snatching yourself up. You snizzing yourself up wearing heels, girl, with tennis shoes in a bag. Like, come on now. Like, come on now. You can do so much better with loving yourself. And that's the thing about it. Like, oh, my God, that's another thing that we can talk about. We ain't going to talk about that until, like, next week. But, like, girl, like. People just 
go for all the wrong reasons. And even if you're just going out, most people are just going out to have a good time. But deal with your demons on your own time. Don't exactly. go to the club to have a good time and then you get drunk and you can't handle your liquor because you angry about your baby daddy doing some dumb ass shit low key. So you trying to take your anger out on this girl because she fucking bumped you or something. <laughs> Bitch, it's the club. It's okay, the girl. Anymore. I want and don't like the club. I don't like the club. Let me give you my reasons why I don't like the club. Ignorant motherfuckers. Main reason. Um, you got people spilling. I'm not about to, never about to go and buy a whole good ass outfit, new shoes. Girl, you stepping good, on my popping, shoes and shit. Waxing, stripping, fucking sealing, and, and, and doing all that cute shit to have a motherfucker spill that drink on me. Or have a motherfucker shoot the club up. Or have some ratchet ass bitches get to fighting. <laughs> the fuck? I don't need to be going home with pink eye because y'all not watching y'all pink. <laughs> when you come out no. the If I walk out the club with pink eye, bitch, we're fighting. Y'all not watching y'all pink. Regardless. No, we're fighting if I walk out the club with pink eye because, bitch, I'm going to have a style And I that. touch stuff and I got <laughs> sleepy and I'm like, uh, I'm going to beat everybody ass at the club that night. I don't got time. Girl. I just don't. Um, I think the last, last time I really stepped in a club, it was cool. It was alright, but we went to fucking proof, and that shit was like, no. See, the last time I stepped in the club, uh, all that shit happened. The, the guns the popped off, and all that shit. Angie pushed me out the motherfucking door. A bitch was not, like, I was not in that situation. See, you know, with them guns, that that is on um, the bouncers. These motherfucking people. Yeah, they the didn't do What shit you got security it. for if? Yo, security ain't gonna be checking nobody for real, like. Exactly. And then after she pushed me out the door, I had to help people get the fuck out. See, and that's fucked up too. Like, I'm not about to go out, barely can stand up in these motherfucking hills, but I'm working that shit. And then some shit pop off, and now I gotta run in these motherfucking hills. No. Girl, I didn't even wear heels that night. Motherfucker, and motherfuckers don't give a fuck about nobody else but themselves. Girl. And that that is an instinct too, which is fucked up. That's that's in 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 whatever in this urban instinct. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> urban rural motherfucking uh that's fucked up. That, that's in some people's fucking this just a part of a person's character to to just be so ruthless because I'm not never about to run over people to get away. See, that's the thing. I, I didn't even run that. over people. Like, that's the thing. I was pushed out the fucking door. I was like, hoping that people would get out first. Calm down. I'm not saying. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Right, running over people. I'm just saying. Like, but I'm like, just saying because of what you said. And you I was like, like people were trying to get out. You got to think. People, some people fall. I would have been that bitch. And, and I had and to get them out. And that hurt my heart because, like, at the first few seconds, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And then she's like, please no. help me. I'm like, okay, you asked me for help, girl. I'm going to give you this help. So I pulled her out. Now I'm going to give you this help. <laughs> it, it was so fucked up. But it actually showed to me that, like, in a situation, I won't completely think about myself. I won't completely break down and be like, I don't know what I'm saying. No, I helped her. I stopped thinking about myself, and I was like, you know what? Let me stop thinking about myself. Let me think about her. Let me think about her getting the fuck out. So I was like, you know, <laughs> pulled her out as much as I could. Pulled the next person out. Pulled the next person out. It was just so out of hand and a lot of people really be like oh you can get over that no you cannot get over that that shit was loud bitch i'm surprised my motherfucking ears wasn't like pop the fuck to you know the high pitch motherfucking <laughs> dog whistles that you hear and shit when your motherfucking ears is popped out of his drum and shit it didn't even get to that point I heard everything. I heard the yelling. I heard the screaming. I heard the running. I didn't even feel myself start running. I just started to run. And it was just so scary. And it was just like not enough for me to motherfucking just stick around. So like after everything, I had to stick around because my sister and everybody was still inside the motherfucking place. They hid inside the corner. I'm like, y'all motherfucking signs. <laughs> no, because like I'm like, I'm like a Pisces. The other one is uh, yeah, I am a Pisces. Um, the other one is an uh, Aries. I mean, Aquarius, but like they're the same. The other one is a Gemini, and the other one was a Libra. 
these three motherfucking air signs, motherfucking in the corner, all three of the air signs in the corner of the motherfucking club, not doing shit, behiding themselves so perfectly behind the motherfucking table that they wasn't hit once. Girl, it was so, it was the graces of God that we all got out of there untouched by a bullet. I don't know how she saved me, but I'm glad she saved me because like she was outside too. Well, no, her ass was outside too. Her ass, I don't know how the fuck she jumped out. Why they got the streets like that? Oh, it's the Black Lives Matter thing. It's definitely about to have Let's go. over here. It's live, let's uh -uh, go. Be no. Why not? Because, and I know exactly where they say it because it looks like the bubble's gonna be out there, so what the fuck you got a tent? So bitch! Oh, oh yeah, you do got them, uh, them things called, uh, shelvery. Look at this bitch. I hate niggas. Okay, get off of your motherfucking I'm fucking shit, mad because they cut my looking. food stamps off. <laughs> Shit, if I get some food stamps, bitch, I'm having all the fruit in here. I'm gonna be so sick. Like, I'm dead ass serious, bitch. We ain't getting shit out of stuff for fruit. Motherfucking, um, what is that called? Domino's, um, not Domino's, but motherfucking, uh, is it still rolling? I hear her. Ultimately, I wanna say, I hope that you loved this video because I actually brought in a co host today. That's what she's gonna be called, a co host, because when we do this, this is TV. So, bitch, regardless. <laughs> But like that is something that I can do. I'm gonna shoot everybody's motherfucking ass. <laughs> I can uh post, I can edit I really and post every single video that I made. I do, but they're in the car. What they look like? They're black. They're black. They're like black. these? Oh no, honey. They come all the way up. Can you go get them? Oh, bitch, no, because I don't know where they are. They're in the back of the seat. In the back of the car, in the back of the seat. Well, we can come on the video. Back of the seat. Okay. That does come off. Oh, uh, keys. I do not know where the fuck those are. Oh my god. Good now. They're right here, probably in my purse. Yup. They are. I feel like I don't feel like shit, but I feel like I'm gonna feel like shit. Does that mean? Girl, because <laughs> I have not ate a motherfucking. Thing. And I'm gonna make some uh, taco meat like you can make a taco burrito. I don't wanna fucking make shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done. I wanna fucking bring the weed. Bring the weed. Hey! Okay, where is it? It's in the middle of the orange thingy. Okay. It's in my lips. I'm fucking beautiful. I got those from a crackhead. <laughs> But they were in a box. They were brand new. Okay. I mean, some crackheads got fashion. Look at me. You I'm know what? Bad. I'm so sorry because I don't even think it was a crackhead. I don't, I don't think I'm a crackhead either. I feel like I'm more productive and more centered with my divineness than than being bitch, a crackhead. It's just like what? the fact of it's, it's like so fun. Bitch, I hope you, you need to have like bubbles and like. Fortunately, I'm a standard bitch, so we get text lines. <laughs> you need to get those things and be like, uh, what I'll be like, what the fuck? Like, what, what the fuck? bitch? It's gonna take me a week to do this. Not necessarily, but a while, because I'm on an iPhone 7. Like, I had it on my iPhone, girl. 128 gigabytes will get me far. Because I get like a lot of good motherfucking voiceover thingies, because I use one to two God of them. God damn it. What? I'm never about to use this because I only got this much weed. This whole thing will go in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go get the other one? Or you can go get it? Cause bitch, I'm, should... not... <sighs> I'm not gonna go get it. I gotta fucking pee. Oh my god. Okay. Take your ass out. I need you to take a picture of me. I need you to take a picture of me, but I need you to take a really good picture of me and don't be no bitch about it. Bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, let me end off this video. Cause this is 27 minutes. And like, follow you and all that good stuff. Yeah. No follow, no subscribe. You ain't got no Instagram? A bitch. <laughs> Look. Okay. I will get you my information when I I'll post it in the um, Yeah, the bitch will be there. I'm trying to take me a cute picture. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
this is the end of the video. I love doing this video today. It was really fun. I hope that you love seeing this video today, even though we just sat back and talked like this is the best parts about it. Wisdom is everything. And if you do not devour the wisdom that you receive, then you will never receive the motherfucking taste of the meal of the motherfucking wisdom that you received. Okay, girl. Please subscribe. Um, please follow me on uh, whatever platform that I have that starts with in fourth clouds. Uh, that's Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Um, let me think about it. Maybe even Facebook. Who really even knows? Like, you wouldn't follow me. You'll literally become a friend. So, you know, that means, like, we can be closer. We can talk about our days in life or whatever. And then I can ignore you for two to three days and then text back and be like, girl, I was asleep. So, uh, you know, <laughs> period. I love you. Have a nice day. Be a bad bitch always. Do us. Mew it up. Oh, yeah, you do got them uh, them things called uh, showberries. What? Just go with it.